Hi friends, this is Preeti and you are watching my resolution. In this video, I will be marking, making you mark all the important questions from general physiology chapter which is the first unit in the physiology. Um, the, in the first chapter, there are none RS questions. There are no RS questions from this first chapter. And second chapter also, there are no RS questions. That is functional organization of the human body. Coming from the chapter 3, that is principles of homeostasis. Uh, the homeostasis definition is important and feedback regulation that is both positive and negative feedback and examples for a positive feedback is important you can remember that there are mnemonics to remember this uh, for, for all those things you follow my channel and you'll get all the mnemonics and uh, coming the only these two questions from this chapter that is home, homeostasis and types of homeostasis that are positive negative feedback uh, with the examples that's all from that chapter come for the chapter four that is cellular organization cell functions and intercellular connections uh, structure of cell is important then protein protein functions are important types of protein that peripheral and integral proteins then cell organelles and the cell organelle and functions of cell membrane is important cell organelles mitochondria is important mitochondrial diseases and dysfunctions then functions of rough endoplasmic reticulum is important and smooth endoplasmic also and functions of lysosomes lysosome is itself important question Ribosomes is important and intercellular junctions is important for 5 mark question that is gap junctions separately also important that's also from the chapter 4 coming from the chapter 5 that is physiology of genetics and apoptosis apoptosis is important for 5 and 10 mark question only the single question is important and to draw this flow chart diagrams as much as possible then coming from the chapter 6 that is transport across the cell membrane voltage gated channels and again gated channels transportation itself they may ask for five more question or else there is some gates they may ask and types of uh, transport process all this uh, boxes flow charts diagrams whatever there you just practice off simple diffusion is important facility diffusion is important you will be knowing all this just go through once active transport is important sodium potassium ATPs for five mark primary active transport then calcium ATPs is all some also asked but most important is sodium potassium ATPs. Endocytosis and secondary active transports factors examples are important. Phagocytosis and exocytosis. Phagocytosis mechanism is important. You have to draw this diagram. That's all from the chapter 6. Coming for the chapter 7 that is membrane potential. There are no RS questions from this chapter. No, no. The, the genesis of the resting membrane potential is there for 5 mark question. And the next uh, next chapter body fluids uh, measurement of body body fluid and uh, the body fluid compartments how they that they are divided that's important see measurement of ECF and ICF total body weight measurement of total body weight is important that's all from the uh, unit general physiology which is the first unit of the physiology. If you have any suggestions, let me know in the comment section. And if you find my video helpful, please do like, share and subscribe to my channel. And appreciate my efforts. Thank you.